Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome to a new series, The Silence Channel, or Silence Channel. When you lose yourself, the darkness comes. Alright, well let's go see it come. Just made sure it was working correctly, everything seems to be running fine. Music's a little loud, but there's no audio settings. So, trees are not afraid of nightmares, good to know. Good to know. Sure that will play a role in the game? Probably never. One stormy night in 1993. Two young years decided to stay in a remote cottage in the forest of the Middle East. The cottage was said to be haunted, but the girls paid no mind to the rumors and spent the night there. Two days later, a local found one of the girls 300 meters away from the cottage, sitting on her knees, murmuring what seemed to be a sign. Some days later, the girl was found hanging from her neck by a large tree. Two years after the incident, Three male students decided to stay in the same cottage to prove the rumors wrong, but they were never heard from again. John Martin, a 32-year-old professional journalist, after some research, took interest in the story and decided to travel to the cottage to investigate it personally. Based on a true story, it says. Punctuation and grammar mistakes, but that's okay. So we're supposed to be out in the Middle East, in a cottage. Where am I? I arrived in the village about 7 a.m. Okay. It's very humid, and there's a dense of fog in the area. Locals say this area is haunted. Hmm, apparently the recent stories reinforce the rumors. I definitely won't stay here for too long. Cause I don't want to go mad. Cause C O Z and reports from the area and the locals. John Martin, December 1996. <laughs> How are you gonna spell cause C O Z? <laughs> what the? Oh, <sighs> open wide up for me. Oh, I hope the rain won't get worse. I have no interest in getting stranded in this place. I have no interest in getting stranded in this place. The guy sounds like he's reading from a script, which is not good. I'd rather have a quiet protagonist than one that just reads from a script and has no emotion in their voice. What? It's up. Anybody there? Basketball! Uh, candle? I have a lighter. Can I use it? Take. Open inventory. Combine with candle. Nice. Okay, we got a key. And cover of Jay Spinner's notebook. Yep, that's it. It's just a cover. That's it. Alright, good to know. That's about it. That's in here. I push this. Nope. I have to examine the environment to complete my report first. So I guess there's something hidden maybe behind... Since that won't move, it's got to be the bookcase. I think there's something behind this bookshelf. Oh, really? Okay, key works. Whoa, look what I found. A, a secret doorway. Wow, look what I found. Don't sound so excited. Sarah Safafi. Safavi. Okay, she went missing. Wrong way, handprint. Um. Someone must be messing with me. Someone must be messing with me, really. Some garlic. Weird, just random garlic strung around the wall. Interesting decoration. Not my taste. But to each their own. Leave before Leave it's too before late. Before it's too late? Yep, that's what I said. I won't stay for long. Just a few photos. Yes, just a few photos. Don't worry. I'll be gone soon. I won't stay for long. Hello, doll. Uh, nothing on him. Woo! Alright. The Spinner's family were one of the lords of the area who lived in a large and luxurious mansion. When I was young, I always looked at their mansion from a distance and dreamed of seeing the inside, picturing it in my mind. My dream came true after a short time. A dream that was only beautiful from a distance. I wish it had never come true. May 1981. 
a green glow emanating from this area. Why is there a TV in here? Why is Who there a TV in here? Now, now my reporter's asking the right questions. Jesus! Oh. What was that? Uh, I think that's enough for my report. I better go back. Oh my gosh, just stop talking, dude. Just be quiet. You're making the game worse. What the? Oh, now it says it's too late. It's locked. Okay, I see the uh, grate. The vent. Ventex, it's time to get into the vent. Oh, oh, parkour. Q. And throw it. That was a weak throw, man. You might as well just had drop on there instead of throw. This is a very... This is very spacious. Got a little bit of blood. This is a pretty nice vent for a 32-year-old man to get into pretty easily and just crawl through. Hello there. What you watching? Oh, okay. Don't tell me. Didn't realize there's a secret. Oh, they're gone. They vanished. Where could they be? Hello? Spooky person. Now I can walk through here. Can I leave? Let's see if we can leave. I'm guessing it's gonna say no. What does that say? November Nightmare. Okay. What the? Oh. There was a door here. Uh, am I hallucinating? Am I hallucinating? Let's try it again. Nope, not hallucinating. Oh! Tons of jump scares. Gotta love it. I'm so alone. Turn it on. Nightmare. November nightmare. November nightmare. November Nightmare. Okay, I got it. Come here, it said above the door. Behind every closed door is a memory of the past. Alright, into the next room. Where the hell am I? I'm gonna turn this off right now. Turn that off. Uh, let's look around. Plants, coat hanger. Examine the hat. Women's hat. Great. Awesome. Fireplace. Rocking chair that's rocking. I wish the rocking chair in Phasmophobia would rock. That's why I would do this right here. I'm just rocking. Life as it proceeds reveals coolly and dispassionately what lies behind the mask that each man wears. It would seem that everyone possesses several faces. Some people use only one all the time and then it naturally becomes soiled and wrinkled. These are the thrifty sort. Others look after their masks in the hope of passing them on to their descendants. Others again are constantly changing their faces, but all of them, when they reach old age, Realize one day that the mask they are wearing is their last and they will soon be worn out. And then, from behind the last mask, the real face appears. 314615. It looks like a picture of a tree. 314615. We gotta remember that. And their faces are highlighted, three of them. So those are the people that are missing, right? Sarah, we saw her poster, but her name isn't crossed off. Ah, key. Face and mask. Face is three. And there's three faces here. So that'd be and and mask. So three is one and. Let's count them. One, two. Uh. Three, 
three, four. To four or five. Uh, let's see masks. One mask at the top. Two in the second paragraph. Three, four. There's four masks, and there's either four or five ands. Okay. Lot. Lot. Maybe I better look. Uh, maybe I better look first floor first. Is that what it said? Maybe I better look first floor first. Okay. Ah. Oh, this is the code that we just figured out. So it's, what is it? Three, either four, four or five, four. There it is. Open it up. Turn it around. I think rotate it. There it is. Key. We did it. I still gotta remember this. 314615, right? 314615. Uh, open. Yes. Saving. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Miss Spinners have been pregnant for a few months. I have been adopted into the family. I'm to take care of her while she's pregnant. Everything is fine, contrary to the imagination of the people of the village. Mr. and Miss Spinners are very kind and treat me well, although I have a strange feeling, and it's getting worse since Mr. Spinners' elder sister got here. July 1982. The person's freaking out because of that thing. Uh, let's take it. Press 1 for to use the oil lamp. Oh. What the, my guy says. I guess this is the maze? Is that right? Let's look. Yeah, this is a maze. So let's see. We're entering this way. So we want to go up. This way, down. So up, and then down. Until we cut through there. Middle, middle, and then left, and then down there. Alright, maybe we can figure it out. Let's try it. It's a bunch of whispering going on. The so first we go up. Where'd you go? Okay, then we go down. All right, and then we go middle. There should be another middle here. And then we'll go up. Right here. And then down. To the left. There she is. Hello. Hey there. Sure. Oh, there's a door. Oh, man, another maze. I don't know this one. Let's just walk around, I guess. Not that way, obviously. This one wasn't on the wall. That's not fair. At least we got... Is that a dead end? No. Maybe not. Ah, here's a door. Oh, this is the same, but different. We got a key here. What does it say? Basement key. Hello, doll. Woo! What we got? Uh, it's the same letter that we just read. The door shut behind us. Is there anything else significant here? I think I'm losing my mind. Oh, no, wait. It didn't shut. It was just back to where we were. All right, can we open up this door? There's still something blocking the stairs. Oh, it said it's locked, but it wasn't really. Just kidding. Right? Hello? Oh! Oh! A house burns in fire. A lonely girl cries. The past repeats itself. House burns in fire. A lonely girl cries. Past repeats itself.
Blacking out again. Awesome. Light and dark will complete one another. All right, so now we are in a basement. My guy's freaking out, dude. Not cool. B42. Okay. Looks like there's a... There's something up there in the top left. Like It looks like a crank that I'll use. Maybe to turn the water or take the water down. Cry. There's a baby with cry on it. There's a... Oh, a battery we picked up. Maybe we'll get a flashlight soon. Oh, hello. All right. Yes, it did drain it. What's down here? Anything down there? Nope. Looks like just here. Let me get out my lantern. Never mind. The lantern no longer works. It's no longer a thing. Just completely got rid of that thing. Don't need it. We're probably about to get a flashlight. So the lantern is just going to get in the way now. Here's a flashlight. Find her in the past. Hello, doll. She's chilling there, huh? All right, let's grab our flashlight. Oh, this was the cry on the back of that paper. Easy. Easy mode. Yeah, give me harder ones than that. Cry. Open it up. Alright. Rotate. Another key. Take it, and it says... Hush. Get back down. Okay. That happened. You gotta just expect jump scares in this game. The atmosphere is alright. The narration really takes away from the scares. The story's okay. I feel like the only weak point in this game so far is the narration. Like, if my guy would just close his mouth not make any comments. It'd be a lot scarier. Go upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs some more. Let's turn on our flashlight. We might need it. That door's open. Oh, there's twins. Ow! Holy crap! What was all that about? Jeez. That hurt. She felt death before birth. The Spinners has two daughters now, but unfortunately Miss Spinners died at delivery. One of the daughters was nothing like the other members of the family, as if her deformed face and body did not belong to the greatness of the Spinners. Mr. Spinner's sister intended to abandon the poor baby in the village. I can't forget how Mr. Spinner was indoctrinated by her negativity about the child. This ill-fated child is the reason why you lost your wife. She is nothing like the rest of us. Just take a look at her. She is not one of us. June 1983. Can we go back this way? I don't see why not. Just a bunch of shaking doors. That's all. That's it, huh? Just a note and a creepy doll in a chair behind me. She felt death before birth. Is there anything else? No? Alright. 
It said 84. A84. A84. What did the other one say? A84 on that fuse. There's a lot. Four numbers. We got 84 on the A. A84. Wasn't it B something over here? B42. A84, B42. 84, 42. That's four numbers. It's either the 1983 of the letter or 84, 42. Uh, cursor. 1983. Nope. 84, 42. Nice. Okay. Those are the only numbers you give me, so... Gotta work with what I got. It'd be cooler if they said she was dead, or she felt death by the time of her birth and it gave her birthday and the code was her birthday. The truth isn't often what we are facing. What is it? Alright, so... We have a record player here. Music. A light switch that looks like it just lights up that little record player. That's it. Kind of a useless light switch. Fuse box is locked. Uh, nothing else down here. There's a door to go up. What's in here? Doors locked. Doors locked. There is a lady with the red umbrella, or maybe a lady, maybe a guy, most likely a lady. Although I find it quite difficult, I have opened a new journal after two years. I have tried to leave the past behind, I would like to start over, I want to leave this town. Every part of this place reminds me of the memories I was asked to forget by the doctor. Perhaps it is better to start fresh. March 1980. So... Ah. Open. Anything? Nope. I guess we'll just leave it open so we know we checked it. All these doors are locked too. So we have a record player and a lady with an umbrella. This guy smoking a pipe. Ah, what is this? Examine. Can I examine it? Nope. Won't let me examine it. Uh, I clicked it too fast. Uh, how do I get out of here? I keep pressing escape. Oh, probably tab. Tab, tab. Yeah, tab, tab out. Uh, where's my flashlight at? Here we go. Another battery. Nice. Nice. Don't need it by the fire. Ah. You gotta check these drawers. What was that supposed to be? Locked up. Nothing. And chairs. Nice bay windows. Ah, another piece of paper. Can we combine these? Yes. And examine. Oh, look, look, look. Umbrella is one, and it's dark. Then this um, pipe is light, it's two. Then music is light, that's three. And then the fire is four, it's dark. And then we have, what is that? Look, like a jar with something inside of it. Jar with something inside of it. Can I open up any of these? locked a jar with something inside of it anything nope there drawers here nope nope oh man cabinets can't open the cabinets either 
Alright, so it was... Umbrella is in the dark. Umbrella dark. Cigar or pipe. I always say cigar. Why well, always cigar in my mind? Umbrella dark, pipe light, music light, fire dark. Umbrella dark. Pipe light, music light, fire dark. Pipe light. Right, music down here. Turn that on. Music light. And fire. It's closed. Oh, hello. That's supposed to be scary. And fire dark. Oh, what happened? Sound like a door broke. Is it? Oh, what happened to the pottery? Julia was never introduced as one of the spinners. It seemed as if Julie was the only child in the mansion, and Julia would play the role of my daughter on the other side of the mansion. Unlike others, and despite the disapproval, Julie loved her sister. She spent most of her time with Julia in her small room, which had become her dungeon. None of them knew they were sisters, or maybe they both did and just pretended to be strangers. September 1988. That's one thing you should never do in storytelling or writing. You don't want to have two characters with very similar names, because your audience is most likely going to get them confused. Let's try to remember, Julia is the one with the messed up face. She's the one with the deformities. So Julia, messed up face. Julie, other child. The, I guess the golden child. Julia. See that painting again. Get through the mirrors. Oh! Last one! Alright. I don't know if I'm crouched or not. I'm trying to run. Hard to tell. I am crouched. Why do these memories follow me? Woo! Oh! That's quite a splash. Fear is a word, but it sometimes breaks the walls around a word. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode of Silence Channel. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out Twitch, Twitter, and Discord down in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.